Hello everybody. Welcome to Instrumentation Training Channel. In my previous video, I discussed regarding process control fundamentals, and the link is given in the description below. Now, in today's video, I am going to discuss basic process control terminology, which is very important in instrumentation. The various components that make up a control system are seen in the diagram. Each of these components has its own characteristics. and changing any single component will change overall response of the control loop a simple control loop shown below is comprised of six major parts control variable measured variable set point error signal control output and manipulated variable now we will know what is control variable is the control variable is a process parameter being controlled in the example here water level in the tank is the controlled variable but it can be any process you wish to control controlling this variable is the primary function of the process control controlled variable is indicated with the letter c next we will see measured variable the measured variable is the electronic or numeric representation of the value of the controlled variable the measured variable typically comes from the transmitter which measures the control variable and produces an output representative of it in the example here the level transmitter is measuring level in the tank the control variable and the converting that level to 4 to 20 milliamp signal measured variable is indicated with the letter b now we will see what is a set point the measured variable is sent to the control in the loop which it is compared to a desired value called the set point the set point and the measured variable are compared in order to produce an error signal the set point is often manually entered by an operator but it can also be automatically obtained from other system set point is indicated with the letter r now we will see what is error signal error signal is the difference between the measured level and the set point it can be either a negative or positive the error signal is then added to the base signal level of the controller to create the controller output for example the base or initial output value of the controller may be 50% with a zero error signal any error signal developed by the controller is then added or subtracted to this 50% base level error signal is indicated with the letter e now we will see what is a controller output the controller output is simply the total output of the controller with the controller in automatic the output is calculated by the controller if the controller is placed in manual the output can be manually adjusted to any desired position controller output is indicated with the letter p at last we will see what is a manipulated variable is manipulated variable is the parameter that is adjusted to bring the process back to the desired set point the manipulated variable in this case is the water entering the tank the water flow is manipulated in order to keep the level constant as the output demand changes manipulated variable is indicated with the letter m thanks for watching we will meet again in another interesting instrumentation video please like share subscribe and also don't forget to click on the bell icon for receiving more interesting updates